What up, y'all? It's your boy. I'm back. Been a long time. A real long time. I'm back. Like I forgot my keys. And I'm going to make a little reply to this Facebook post that I've seen. Post says something about Post says something about being what did it say? What did that shit say? Being a good person don't get you loved or some shit like that. And this is so true, man. But at the same time, being a good person gets you loved as well. Because in order for you to really be loved by somebody, you're going to have to be a good person to them. You can't, well, I mean, you could be a bad person and still get loved by somebody. I get it. But if you want to talk about, like, the right person and all this shit, you know what I'm saying? You have to be a good person to be loved. The right person is not going to love somebody who don't uh, love them back. I mean, that's part of them being the right person. They have self-love. You know, they they're not thirsty. They 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 uh, know their worth and shit like that. They don't get destroyed. Cause cause if you if you love somebody and they ain't really loving you back, think about how destroyed a, a person like that would be. So part of being the right person is actually um basically knowing who to love or when to love or whatever the fuck i hate using the word love because that shit is some shit that gotta be built it's a lot of people just throw that word around like it's just all over the place but anyways being the right person does get you love and and i'm and i'm gonna try to prove this shit to y'all because a lot of y'all man y'all love somebody and, and they don't love you back and you like, man, being a good person didn't get me this, so fuck it, I'm done, and all this. But you can't do that, because the right person is, you have to be a, the right person for the right person. <laughs> Does that make sense? In order to get the right person, you gotta be the right person. So if you, if you this person, man, fuck love, I don't, I don't fuck with it, and then the right person come along, and you run them off. You know what I mean? That's not good. What y'all need to understand is, it's true. Being a good person don't get you loved because it's not guaranteed. But what happened was you probably gave your love to the wrong person. A person that didn't appreciate it or some shit like that. And I hate to sound like everybody else, but it's the truth. If you gave that shit to the right person, they would have loved you to the moon and back. You know what I mean? So the problem wasn't you loving. That's not the problem. The problem is not love. The problem is, uh, is us people. Us men and women. That's the problem. It's not love. Love has always been love. It's always going to be love. It's never going to change. It's the people. It's the people who you're dealing with. You know what I mean? You got to understand that, yeah, been, just because you're good, a good guy. You know a lot of good guys, but I'm a good guy. Why is she like the bad guy? Because maybe she likes him for she's more attracted to him or whatever. Who knows why? But the point is, just because you're a good dude don't mean she should pick you over that guy. So the same thing applies vice versa with a man. Just because you're a good woman don't mean the man should pick you or he's going to love you or some shit. It just doesn't mean that, people. You know what I mean? They have to be somebody that actually wants to fuck with you. That is the only way around that shit. That is the only way around that shit. And as a as a woman or man, you got to make yourself the most attractive that you can possibly be. You got to um, stay focused. You got to boss up as a woman or man. You know what I mean? And if you see somebody not reciprocating, then you got to know when to pull away. I think I said something on that post about, like, when you love somebody, they're not loving you back. You got to love yourself enough to know that to walk away and leave it alone. So you don't feel like this person, not this person that made the post, but a person in general, that feel like there's no love, uh, I'm just done, everybody's the same, and all this and all that. You know, people, 
a lot of that shit is based off of attraction, based off of if they feel that they can do better than you. A lot of shit. You know what I mean? There's a lot of shit that goes into this shit, man. But at the end of the day, remember this shit. The right person that's meant for you, the person that's meant for you is going to like you back. Now, you can't just sit around and be nobody in life and be a bum and shit. Nah. Because you could actually cost yourself the right person. You know, a person might might would have liked you if you bossed up, but you're not bossing up. So they like, I don't want to fuck with that girl or that dude. But don't feel bad and be like, man, I gave my all and they didn't love me back. They're not the right person then. It is what it is. That's what people don't want to hear. Nobody wants to hear that everybody don't like them. That's the problem with everybody. Nobody wants to hear that everybody don't like you. It is what it is. Everybody don't like you. Just like you don't like everybody. Don't you think that it's weird if you like every fucking body? You don't find that weird? And I'm not talking about like everybody as in like as a person, but like them, like desire them. You don't find that weird? What y'all don't understand is that's what makes that person the person that you end up with or whatever special. Because they see something in you that why why do you want everybody to see the great why do you want everybody to see something special in you that really you would only if you really think about it you should only want the person that you see something special in like that to see it in you why you why you need everybody to see it why and think about it like if everybody liked you and let's just flip it like you like everybody that don't that don't sound right does it think about it if you like everybody now think about it this way how's it how's it how's it possible for everybody to like you it's not possible it's just simply not it doesn't make sense people like different shit for different reasons and whatever but the point is everybody's not going to like you and that's the beauty of it Y'all act like it's a problem when everybody don't like you. But it's really a beautiful thing because that woman can see something in me that other women don't see. And I see it in her and that's what makes us pitch, pick each other. That also is what makes her... That That's also what makes her not want to just jump ship and deal with another guy. Because she sees something in me that she doesn't see in anybody else. I see something in her that I don't see in other people. You, does it doesn't make sense. It's a good thing. Y'all making the life, this this world, this media, whatever fuck you want to call it, social media, you know, trends or whatever, they got y'all thinking that it's it's um the shit when everybody likes you. But really it's when somebody sees something in you that nobody else can see. So a woman so, like say say women um Say I try to like a woman, she don't like me back. Say I try to like 10 women, they don't like me back, whatever. I, I try to love them, whatever, who cares, whatever, right? It's not, they're not meant for me. So my job is to know when, okay, that woman's not reciprocating. Let me just leave it alone. People don't do that, though. They try to say, well, nothing's wrong with me, so why ain't they love me? Something, what's wrong with this person? Why do they love me? They gonna, they gonna love me. I'm gonna make them love me type shit. And then they keep trying to make somebody like them. And it's just not there, man. And it don't matter why. It, it, a lot of y'all get caught up in, I'm better than this woman or man. I'm, I, so they should pick me. That don't mean shit. You might be better. That don't mean they gonna pick you though. We can argue about if Coca-Cola is better than Pepsi or root beer or whatever all day long but at the end of the day you're going to want what you want and I'm going to want what I want I always use Cadillacs and Chevys right as an example Chevys are good cars but I, I'm always going to pick a Cadillac whether I'm right or wrong if a Cadillac's a better car or not that's not the point the point is I'm always going to pick it and that's the same thing that you got to apply with women and men you got to get out of this I'm a great woman or I'm a great man. They should pick me and like me. Nah, because some of them can't see it. it. You can't force them to see it either. So don't try. Don't try. 
because they get they. It's crazy how they can see greatness in a, a guy that beats on her or some shit. You know what I mean? Or a girl that treats him like shit. He sees greatness in this girl, and this girl ain't great at all. But he sees greatness in her for whatever reason, or she sees greatness in this bum for whatever reason. So now you gotta you gotta deal with people who see that in you. Not trying to force them to see it. Like, look at me, I'm great. No, they're already going to see it. That's the whole point. So when it comes to this, uh, uh, I love somebody, shit. But it was a way, I forget what the title said. I for, I'm going to fix the title for sure, for sure. But when I put it on Facebook from the title, I forget what her post said. Or his or the group. I, I think it was a group. But it said something along them lines that being a good person don't mean you're going to get love. No, I don't. Because if you've been a good person, and this is what I said, now I remember. I said, it said, being a good person gets you used or whatever. Or, yeah, that's what it said. And I said, you're supposed to be used when it comes to love. It said love and get you used or whatever. You're supposed to be used when it comes to love. You're just not supposed to be misused. You're supposed to be used. Why the fuck would somebody love you if there's no benefit in it? Why would you love somebody if there's no benefit in it? You're not going to. Right? So you're going to be used. Remember on Baby Boy, that movie, she said, you're going to be used, but you got no one to put them back in the box, whatever the fuck. Remember that? So you're going to be used. You just can't be. The misuse is the problem. It's not them used. You want the person that, that you love or whatever to be able to use you, don't you? The problem is misused. That's the issue. And that's what people do when they don't really want you. Or whatever. And you got to love yourself enough to be able to walk away from that shit. And that's the problem. That's what people don't, they don't love themselves enough to do it. That's why they keep trying to figure out why somebody don't want to love them. If you love yourself that much, you're not going to give a fuck why they don't love you. You can be like, that's this, they lost, or they just not meant for me. Either or. You're not going to be trying to make them like you and love you and act right and all this shit. After so long. Now, granted, you you got to give people chances and shit. Nobody's perfect. But after so long, you going know when to, you got to know when to pull away. But if you don't love yourself like that, you're never going to pull away. So, it is what it is. And then you're going you're gonna to say that um, love got you used and all this and misused and all this and all that. Yeah, but if you loved yourself enough, you would have pulled away to, before the point of becoming bitter over it. And that's the thing. It's all of, you. Nothing's guaranteed. You can't tell who's really the right one or not unless you take the risk. So, you got to know when to pull the fuck away. When you see that it's not right. So you don't be destroyed to the point that you don't even want to deal with another person again. You know what I mean? You don't want that, man. And and that, and the reason why that shit happens is because motherfuckers give their whole entire life, you know what I mean, to somebody that they should have broke up with a long time ago. You know what I mean? You just got to know when to let that shit go, man. You got to know when enough is enough. But sometimes people feel like the more you do to them and the longer they stay, that makes them want to love you even more because they feel like they got so much invested into it. But don't worry about how much you invested into the situation because it's not a new start. I mean, it's not a uh, how they, it's not starting over. It's just a new beginning. A lot of people think you leave, you starting over in your life, or no, yeah. You leave and you starting over in life and you lost and you wasted time. No, not really. You're just moving forward. Yeah, I said that wrong. It's not starting over. It's moving forward. There's a difference. You're not starting over because you learn shit. You're not the same person that you was when you first got with that person. I hope that your, your finances and all that shit ain't the same. Your mental and all that is not the same when you got with that person. You should have been leveling up. So you're not starting over, you're just moving forward. You're just moving them out the way and moving forward and seeing what else is life got in store for you. But I know it's not that easy to just say fuck it and leave. But if you don't want to feel like what 
this title is that these people are, I've seen this on Facebook a lot. You don't feel like this, then you're going to have to know when to pull the plug. If not, then you're going to be bitter. You might not want to love again. But I think people get tripped up when they say, well, I was a good person. Why didn't I get love back? Because that's like me saying, that's like me saying, say, say a woman, um, Say a woman likes white dudes, I guess. Say a white girl likes white guys, right? Say she don't like black dudes. Let's just say that. Because I got to make a difference to make this shit understandable. Let's just say she don't like black guys. So since I'm nice to her, does that mean that she should like me over the white guys? No. Just because I'm being nice don't mean shit. That don't mean that she got wet or attracted by it. You know what I mean? Let's just say a woman that I'm not attracted to at all. And then there's a supermodel or some shit that I like. You know, let's just say they both like me. So you're saying that just because that girl's nice that I don't like at all, I should pick her and I, or I'm going to pick her over her? No, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Why do you think uh, a lot of times men get confused and say sh women like the bad guy? No, it's not necessarily women purposely like bad guys. Some do, if they're immature. You know what I mean? But grown-ass women, nah. But anyways, it's not that they like a, purposely like a bad guy. It's because they're more attracted to that guy. You being a nice person don't mean that she gonna pick you. And it don't mean she should pick you. Just because you nice don't mean a person should pick you. Or it doesn't mean they gotta love you. You know, uh, people act like God made us robots and just made, like, soulmates. You know what I mean? I, be like, I feel like a soulmate thing is something that you build. I don't feel like God is making us robots and you. I made you to specifically love that girl. That's wild, man. Why? Why? How is that true if God don't even make us love him? Think about it. If that's the case, then we would have been robots. You can't make somebody love you, though. You know, you, what y'all got to understand is you have the choice to love who you want. Most people will disagree and say they can't help who they love. And I can see that if you're attached to the person, you can't help how you feel and shit. <clears throat> but if you love yourself, you can. Because even if you care about them, you can be like, fuck that shit. They acting up. <clears throat> I don't know where the fuck that dust came from, bro. What the fuck? <clears throat> Damn. <coughs> what the fuck, man? It ain't the dust, it's the damn peanuts. <clears throat> Anyways, man. You can't make people love you, but you could choose who you you love. That's what y'all gotta remember. <coughs> and I live by that shit. I ain't about to make nobody love me because I understand that that if somebody, I understand real love, a person already going to try to want to love me. It's Even though love is built and shit, <clears throat> when it comes to real love, a woman's going to want to try to go there with me. It's not going to be something that I got to force her to do. And guess what else? If I say good morning, versus other guys that she doesn't want and say she want me and we all but she don't want them and we all say good morning to her them said being nice remember being nice them being nice saying good morning just like i did hits different mine's gonna hit different than theirs because she likes me not them doesn't matter what they did that's why you can have men who do women wrong and they still stay with the person he ain't loving the girl, but she still stay with him and love him, right? It's because that's what they want. That's what they want. Nothing you can do about it. You want to deal with people who want you. And if you see that they don't want you, then you just got to leave that shit alone. But don't be don't be believing that <clears throat> loving gets you used. Because, yes, loving does get you used, but it won't get you misused if you love the right person. 
See, that's what people are uh, not realizing. It's all about the right person to love. It's not the love that's the problem. A lot of people really believe that it's love, love's fucked out here. Ain't no love out here. Yeah, there is if you fuck with the right people. The right people got love for you. It's the wrong ones that ain't got love for you. Plain and simple. But, you know, people are in their egos. They want to be liked by everybody and loved by everybody. But in reality, you should only want, you shouldn't want everybody to be able to see, uh, see special in you. Just like you shouldn't want to see special in everybody. So for all the people out there that want everybody to see special in them. Think about vice versa if you seem special in everybody. And I'm not talking about like you see gifts in everybody. Like certain gifts. Like they can count and they can jump or whatever. I'm not talking about like God gifts. I'm talking about attraction. <clears throat> Imagine if you could see that in everybody. That don't even sound right. So why the fuck would you want it? Vice versa. Personally, I feel like I just want the, I want the, I feel like the right woman's going to see shit in me that other women don't see. No other women will see. I mean, technically there could be more than one woman that sees greatness in me. But the point is, <clears throat> you want to deal with those women. Or if you're a female, you want to deal with those men that see this shit in you. Like some men might just see you as sex. Then some men might see you as this goddess. But you think that you determine that. And that's the problem with people. They think they determine what other people see them as. And you don't. Once you realize this shit. That shit nothing matters. <clears throat> it don't matter if they like you or not. Because you understand that the, that person don't see it. But that don't mean that a woman that's way better than her. Won't see the greatness in me. You see that? That's why you shouldn't care about the shit. You know, if you if you decide to like somebody and you see that they not seeing that shit in you, vice versa, reciprocating, whatever, then just pull the plug and move on. Just understand that they just not for you or it's their loss. So if it's not their loss, because some people feel like it ain't my loss, all this price, okay, maybe it's not you. Maybe it's not your loss. Maybe you will get a guy just as good or whatever, right? But you still not for me, though. So it's not my loss either, is it, right? Because if you was for me, then you would be trying to fuck with me. Right or wrong? If a woman is for me, how the fuck she for me, but she not trying to fuck with me? That don't make sense. So why do people want people who don't fuck with them to fuck with them? And it ain't even got to be lovers. It could be just friends. Like, okay, y'all don't fuck with me. I'm not about to do no magic tricks to make y'all fuck with me. Or how I say it. I'm not going to simp for a woman to fuck with me. And I'm not going to lose for dudes to fuck with me. When I say dudes to fuck with me, you know what the fuck I mean. Like, I'm not going to lose so they like me or fuck with me or feel comfortable hanging around me. Nah. I'm not going to lose so you're not going to envy me. That's crazy. Because the right friends are going to be happy for the shit I'm doing. Matter of fact, the right friends are probably going to be on their shit too. So there's no reason to envy You can't please everybody. Some people just not going to like you. We ain't even got to talk about woman or man. Like there's just some men out here who just don't like me. It don't matter. I could be the nicest motherfucker in the world. And they still don't like you for whatever reason. That's just the way of the world, people. Everybody not going to like you, man. I think it's a beautiful thing when a woman can see greatness in me that she can't see shit in me that she can't see in other men. That's why I think that type of characteristic or trait in people is a great trait. Not the I see greatness in everybody trait. That's crazy. But that's what people want out here. People want that where everybody see greatness in everybody shit. But that's wrong. That's not the right. That's not the correct way, man. I sat back and thought about it a few times. I was like, that don't 
yeah, it only takes one woman. I sat back and thought about that shit. Like, yeah, it only takes one woman. So what? 10,000 women didn't fuck with you or they wasn't the right one. It only takes one woman. The right woman. It don't take a billion guys. Like, if you're a female, it don't take a billion guys. All you got to do is find the right one. But as soon as you see the bullshit and the wrong ones, then you got to get away quick. So they don't... So you don't waste as much worth and shit on them. So you can still want to try to find another guy. But imagine if you're a female and you keep holding on to the wrong guy over and over again. Just keep getting destroyed over and over again. Just keep uh, losing a confidence in love more and more and more and more. But if you pull out in time, you're like, damn, I ain't found the right one yet, but at least he didn't destroy me. Here's a good point. Here's a good example. A woman, let's take two females, and they both like bag the wrong guys, right? One pulled out before she got pregnant. The other one didn't. Both have a chance to still find love and shit, right? But one, now she got a baby and shit. It's a little deeper for her versus the other one. The other one pulled out quicker. Let's just say it was the exact same shit, but one pulled out quicker than the other. Except for at the end. The end results wasn't the same, but everything else was the same, hypothetically. One pulled out, or you could use a guy. Let's just say two guys, like two girls, and let's just say they both was gold diggers or something. You know, let's just say they both had 30,000 life savings. One pulled out once, and once he was, like, she got 5,000 out of him. One pulled out, the other one didn't pull out until it was all gone. Which one you think have a better chance of a better attitude towards love, loving again? <laughs> the other one probably will never love again. Like, hell no. We'll never get married again type shit. Just like right now, I don't really want to live with a woman ever again. But the right woman will make me see why I should probably do that. You see what I'm saying? Every woman can't make me see that. You see what I'm saying? Every woman can't make me see shit that certain women can't. That's just what it is. It just is what it is. Like, you could be better than a woman's boyfriend, and he could be trash and treat her like trash and everything. You could be way better than him in every last aspect. And she still might leave, not leave him for certain reasons. Whether she see that you better than him or not. Let's just say that she know. let's just say not only are you better than him and all this shit, but she see it. That don't mean she going to leave, though. That don't mean she going to leave that guy for you. Or like you because of that. You see what I'm saying? Like, a lot of females know that this guys, these guys over here are the best ones to choose. But I still want to deal with them. And ain't nothing nobody can do about it. Doesn't matter how nice they are. None of that shit matters, man. But Ben... Ben... Loving and being nice to the right person does matter. It means everything to that person. That's what makes them the right person. Another example. Two girls. Right? And let's just say I take them both. Let's just say I take them both to the same spot. Let's just say I took them both to a coffee date. Right? Two girls. I took them both to the same coffee date. And one thought the whole entire world right and, and was happy and everything and matter of fact she was so happy and shit she even bought my shit she didn't even i didn't have to buy her no coffee or whatever then the other one i don't want i'll eat here and or i'm not going here what the fuck this or that you see the difference we going to i'm taking them both to the same spot the only difference is one appreciates it more than the other or appreciates more me more than the other whatever However you want to put it. But that's the same thing. Just like the other day this girl was arguing with me on Facebook. Because she tried to say that I disagreed about. You know. There's this post going around saying men don't deserve good. Or don't appreciate good head. Right. And most men said that's not true. Which is disagreeing with her. Right. But I said it's it's the uh, it's not. It's, it's who you're uh, giving head to. It's not who you are. It's who you're giving head to that's going to determine whether that guy appreciates it or not. Because two women could give me head and I can appreciate this one more than the other one. 
And you see what I'm saying? It's all about who you're giving head to. That same woman could give the same exact head to two different guys and one lover the moon and back and one treat her like shit, like she's nothing. What was the difference? I'm trying to tell y'all, man. This is why sometimes you could have a dude that has kids by two different women and treat the kids differently and the mom differently. It's the same guy. It's the same guy. You can't say that he's a, he's a different father over here and than he is over there. No, it's the same guy. So what's the difference if it's the same guy? It's all about how he feels about that woman. It shouldn't be that way about how he feels about the kids. He should feel the same way. Even if you have stepkids, you should feel like you should feel the same way as if they was your real kids, in my opinion. But some people have real kids and still because their moms are different <clears throat> or it could be dads, vice versa. <clears throat> people feel differently about them kids. But it's the same dad, supposedly, allegedly, right? It's the same guy, right? So it's the same thing with this love shit. It's the same thing with this love shit, man. <clears throat> it doesn't matter how great of a person you are, all this and all. Just like the likes thing on Facebook. You could be a handsome motherfucker. That don't mean you're going to get uh, more likes than somebody. Somebody could be not even close as handsome as you. Or if you're a female, you know what I mean? You could look way better than that girl, but she's showing her body or something. She's going to get more likes than you. Does that mean that um, because she got more likes, she's better? Nah. Everybody don't choose what's best for them. Matter, matter of fact, a lot of people choose what's not good for them. Why do you think a lot of people are in so much uh, messed up situations when it comes to relationships? Because most people don't pick. Most people don't pick based off of the right shit. When I say the right shit, the shit that's actually good for them that matters and shit. They base it more off of what they lust more than what they should pick off of. And we're all guilty of that. I ain't going to sit here and act like I've never been guilty of it or I won't be guilty of it. Hopefully I won't be, but <clears throat> it's very possible. You could pick the wrong woman based off of stupid shit instead of the good shit. Everybody do that. Everybody's at least guilty of it. Put it like that. So, you know, and you can't let this shit go to your head, man. You can't let this shit go to your head saying uh, love only got you used. Yes, yeah, because you, you was loving the wrong motherfucker. I don't know. How, I hate to sound like every fucking body else, but that's what it is. You love the wrong motherfucker. Again, I could be with a girl and buy her all kind of cars and everything. Let's say I'm with the wrong one, buying her everything. And it didn't work out because she didn't appreciate me. Then when I get with this other girl and she only asked for nearly much as that and, feel, and be way happier with me than that other girl. I'm the same guy, though. Why y'all think like some women will say, all these men like me, but I only want attention from one person? It don't matter how nice they are. So all this uh, men don't appreciate head shit, yeah, it don't matter. You can get, you can give head to 10,000 men, right? If, if, one, if one only like you like that, then that's the one that's only going to appreciate you. It don't matter. It just doesn't matter. That's why people got to realize, okay, this guy really don't see me as this, then I'll just pull away. And leave it alone. It's that it's that simple. All this trying to make them see this greatness in you and shit. This is this is foolishness. Why would you want to try to be in a relationship or so-called love with somebody who can't even see it? Ain't that part of the love? Ain't shouldn't they already see that shit? <laughs> Other than the fact that you doing what you're supposed to do as a person. Other than that fact, <clears throat> shouldn't a person already see this greatness? Why is it that a lot of men doing all these magic tricks that make a woman like me? Look at my car, look at my muscles, look at this and look at that. <clears throat> Meanwhile, the guy she really like ain't even showing her no attention or nothing. Nothing. And she like you way better than she like him way better than all y'all. And y'all doing all these magic tricks. That's why I've been telling, like, a lot of people might get offended. 
or mad. Like a lot of females might get mad when I tell men, look, don't be doing all these magic tricks. She already knows who she liked the most. So if it ain't you, then what the fuck you doing? Just like women, why are you doing all this head, this and all this? I'm not saying don't do it for the person that do like you. But if you got to do all this shit and he still ain't like you, then I guess he's just not the one. It is what it is. I think people feel like <coughs> since they like some, I think they don't think that they'll like somebody else more than this person. That's false. That's false, man. Sometimes you, you feel that way because you're attached to that person. So everybody else don't compare to that person at this point because you're attached. But once you break that attachment, you know, that, that same guy that you, you, you was comparing to that one that you attached to and you just didn't want to fuck with him, you probably would fuck with him if you broke the attachment of the other motherfucker that you with. Example, I could be with a woman, uh, a way better woman trying to holler at me, but since I'm attached to her, I really don't see it like that. Versus... I've been single for a couple of years, right? I'm not attached to a woman. Now it seems now that same woman could probably come along at that time and she would look it would be way different. It, I would feel way different about it because that's I don't have that attachment way uh, I don't have that attachment fogging the judgment of how I really feel about somebody. That's why I don't think people should go on dates and shit immediately as soon as they break up with somebody. You really not getting the real um you're really not getting a real signal of what you really... I know the signal's not the right word, but I can't think of the right word right now. But you're really not getting a real perception or the feeling of what you really feel about a motherfucker because you're still broken up. you still heartbroken shit. You got to get over that shit for a little bit. Then try to talk to motherfuckers and see how you really feel. Because <clears throat> if not, you're just going to be comparing them to them and all this other shit. Well, either way, at the end of the day, y'all got to realize, I don't give a fuck if you're the greatest woman or man on earth. If they don't see you like that, they just don't see you like that. It just is what it is. All this alpha, he's alpha, I'm beta, all this shit, that's another thing. Uh, she sees him beta, she sees him alpha. That's the key word. She sees it, but that don't mean that he's alpha and this is beta. Or that's beta and this is alpha. Or she's wife and she's not. How many men in the NBA be marrying these women just because they look good? And look what happens. She wasn't wife. She wasn't wife material. She just looked good and got a ring from a fucking NBA player because she looked good. But look what happens. Same thing with the other shit. He's not alpha because he's not smoking weed and saying nigga and all this other shit. Then look what happens to them later when they think, oh, that's the alphas. Let me choose that. I'm not saying that if somebody smokes weed and says nigga, they not alpha. But you get my point. They be like, well, he's too square. So he can't be alpha. He he must not know how to fuck or this or that. And they, they, they could be so off and so wrong and have no idea he's too nice. He must not be able to protect me or some shit. It's just, it's just dumb. <clears throat> but that's the, I'm trying to prove a point that people's perceptions usually are off and wrong, man. So if you try to love a guy and he don't see you as wife, don't, don't think that there's something wrong with you or some shit. If you did everything right, then it's them, man. It's not you. It's them. It's them, man. And stop trying to keep trying to prove yourself over and over. If you don't see them trying to um, work with you, then it's time for you to just stop. If you see them trying to, then I guess you got to you gotta give them the benefit of the doubt and keep trying. But if you see it like they ain't trying, why keep doing it? <clears throat> Why? I know the number one answer why people do that because they don't love themselves enough. That's why they stay. They don't. If they really love themselves that much, there's no way they'd be like, man, I don't even need a girlfriend or boyfriend right now. And I damn sure ain't about to do this. I ain't about to get pregnant by this motherfucker. I'm gone. Or I'm not about to get this girl pregnant. I'm gone. 
Remember the, the shit that I said earlier about the two men? 30K life savings, and they both, let's just say they both got with, uh, gold diggers. One pulled out at 5,000, the other stayed until he was drained all the way completely, or, or the females with two dudes, two bad guys treating them wrong, and one left before she got pregnant, and the other one didn't. You gotta know when to pull that shit, just like, just like a, a bet or an investment or some shit. Oh shit, that shit falling, dog. Let me pull this shit out. Let me get this shit out before more damage happens. The name of the game is, see, the the thing is this, y'all. you never going to know who's really who. You're not God, for one, and people could change. So it's a risk. No matter what, it's always going to be a risk. But you got to know when the, like old girl said on Baby Boy, you got to know when to put the toy back in the fucking box. Like, like she said, you're going to be used in love. But the misuse is the problem. They're supposed to use you. All men want is sex. A man's going to want sex from you. Even the right guy is going to want sex from you. All women want is money. Even the right woman is going to want security and shit from you. The misused is the issue. How is it misused when you're not getting no reciprocation back? They're only they're not trying. They're not trying to carry the weight. They want you to build the whole fucking house. They're not even handing you stones. That type shit. That's how you know. But if you love yourself, you're going to be able to walk away. If you don't, then you're going to keep trying to chase validation of motherfuckers that don't really want to fuck with you. Or you're going to be bothered because somebody didn't choose you over him. I don't give a fuck why she chose him over him. I'm better. That's how I feel. I know I'm better. I don't give a fuck what she thinks. That's how y'all got to have it. You should know that you're better than her. Who cares if he likes her better? He might like her better because she lets him run over. She lets him run over her. Or she might like him better because he's a simp and you're not. But in your mind, you think, though, I'm ugly or something. That's why she likes him better. You know what I mean? Or that's why he likes her better. And you have no idea that it's actually, you. You they know that you're too good. They know you're not going to put up with that shit. Or they know that they can't measure up to you. Or they know that they got to keep up on their shit to be with you. But if I pick this bum, this female or male bum, then I, I could be a bum too. I don't have to step my game up and keep my game apart. You see what I'm saying? So y'all got to wake up out of this shit, man. Uh, people's opinions don't fucking matter. I don't give a fuck who says this is alpha, that's alpha. I'm going to try to be alpha myself. And, and I feel like I'm going to be alpha. I'm going to feel like when I feel like I'm alpha, I'm alpha. I don't give a fuck what another woman says. You know what I mean? And that's no offense to female. I'm just saying. I don't care. The only opinion matters when it comes to a woman is a woman that's trying to fuck with me. Any other woman's opinion don't matter what she think of me. Why should it? But everybody caught up in everybody wanting to be liked by everybody. That's the problem. Everybody wants to be liked by everybody. And it's impossible. It's impossible. Everybody's not going to like me. Everybody's not going to like you. Rihanna's fine as hell. I don't like her though. She's not my type. She's just not. And I don't mean that like my type, like her image and all that. Because Beyonce's kind of like they similar, right? But I just don't think she would be. I don't know her. I never met her. But just certain people, just not your type. For whatever reasons. <clears throat> she, he might like old girl better because old girl, um, like I said, is willing to be a doormat. You're not basically or oh girl let him fuck and you wouldn't yet and you think it's because something wrong with you nah it's really him or vice versa oh dude cashed out on the first date took her on this extravagant date and all i want to do is get to know her and uh at a coffee shop but since she listened to some feminists according to them you know he's broke or or you're settling for less you know so that's all right. Then he can be a, he can be the simp that took a woman on an extravagant date that he doesn't even know, and I'll just continue to get to know women first before I do that. You know, I can have way a way better world built for the woman that I'm getting to know, and he just doing it just to uh, fuck one time. You know what I mean? But hey, you know people don't think like that. You know what I'm saying? 
Just like she could be giving you the box immediately to try to get shit out of you. And the other girl could be holding off on it because she see you as boyfriend material. You know what I mean? She see more than just that with you. So, you know. You can't tell people shit, though. I'm out of here, man. I ain't wasting no more time on this shit. Like I said, man, it's all about who y'all love, man. You cannot control who loves you. you. You can't. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't control who likes or loves you. But you can control who you like or love. And all I can say about that is, if I see that you don't like or love me, I'm not going to like or love you. Because I can control that part. I can't control if you see me alpha or you want to fuck with me over him or I ain't got dreads, he does, whatever. I can't control none of that, right? Only thing I can control is being the best version of myself for the woman that will like me, you know what I mean? And for myself, and if you have kids or whatever, that's all I can control is be the best version of myself, right? But other than that, the only other thing I can control is, oh, she don't like me like that? All right, cool, but it don't matter. Everybody's not supposed to like you. Man, sometimes y'all be tripping over somebody that if you, if they, somebody that didn't like you, but if they really liked you, let's just say this. A woman didn't like me. And I know it's good, it's weird, but let's hypothetically say a woman didn't like me, right? But let's just say somehow I ended up with her. She didn't like me. Right? But somehow I ended up with her and then I realized I didn't really like her. So sometimes it's a blessing. You be thinking that somebody who don't like you would make you happy and they really wouldn't. That's That, that goes back to that shit that they're just not for you. You know, I trust God. Like, God knows what I like, what would be good for me. That's why I don't worry about that. Oh, she probably was bad for me. Maybe that's why God's protecting me from her. You ever think about that? Because you got karma, you know, karma going on. If you got good karma, why would God allow a bad woman to come in my life? Why? I don't think it will happen. Unless I kept pressing the issue or something. You know what I mean? A bad woman shouldn't like me. But what if I got bad karma? Then maybe I maybe I should deserve to like the wrong woman. Think about that shit. Some people... Their karma is for them not to like the right one because they've done so much bullshit. The right one right there, but your karma. Something, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, the devil be throwing a distraction in y'all way. The right one be right there. Let's say you got bad karma. Still, you walk around with bad karma that you haven't reaped yet. And the right one there, but then the wrong ones come and distract you from that. Sometimes men got the right woman and, and then they bad karma come and they they fumble that woman. So y'all mean, think about it this way. Let's say somebody been playing a woman or men, playing women and men all their life. Y'all mean to tell me that that person really deserves to pick the right one? After all that? I don't think so. I think their karma is to miss uh, or to fumble or overlook the right one. How you do all that and you didn't get you ended up with the, the right one? It don't make sense. Unless you're supposed to end up with the right one and then they hurt you in the end like you hurt all those other people. That's the only way I see it. Other than that, I understand why a lot of people who are actually not good women and men, I understand why they fumble a lot of people or overlook a lot of good women and men. Because the good women and men, they don't deserve those bad people. And those bad people don't deserve those good women and men. It's, it's more spiritual than physical. Y'all think it's all physical. I think it's a lot of spiritual. This is why a lot of times, you like them, they don't like you. That's the devil trying to keep good people from liking each other. Not good people, my bad. Even though that's true. But I feel like the devil tries to keep two people away from each other that really would like each other with distractions of other people or whatever because he don't want two people to actually come together to actually like each other it's always one or the other don't like the other more than the other one's cheating or lying it's always some shit like that it's never I, mean, I ain't gonna say never but it's rare that it's just two people that feel like these we are the best we ever gonna get and that's how we feel and we just happy as fuck 
<laughs> forever. It's it's just rare that it's really like that. It's usually one or the other or some bullshit in, involved in it almost every time. <clears throat> you can't control who like you, but you can control who you like. So that's why people need to study and really analyze why the fuck they like people and really be honest with yourself. Like, does that really matter? Does their ass got to be that big, really? Does that is that going to matter when it comes down to her um, not dealing with another guy or not or how she going to treat my kids or whatever? If we had kids or something, people got to look at shit like that, but they don't. They look at the other shit and then that's and they wonder why it didn't work or they got played or something. You're not even looking at shit that really matter in the motherfucker. And and that hints is why a lot of motherfuckers overlook or fumble the right one. How the fuck you gonna find the right one and you're not looking for the right things? Think about it. How am I gonna find the right woman if I'm not looking for the right things that make a right woman? I'm just worried about the ass and the looks. That's why these NBA players, they got they got all these women they can choose from and still can't pick the right one. Because they're not looking for what matters. If they did, then they would have picked the right girl. Obviously, Kobe had to have picked the right girl because of look what he did and she still didn't leave. Ain't no way. She probably would try to take his bag and everything. A lot of them do it before. A lot of them do it, and he and they ain't even do nearly what Kobe did. Now, is Kobe the right one? I don't know. On her side, he might not be. He might not have been. That's a tough, um, tough little thing to talk about, but y'all get my point, man. The, how you going to find the right guy or girl if you don't base it off of the right shit? Leave that lust shit alone, man. You're going to... That's another thing. People are so caught up in their lust, man. They don't realize that once you get close to the right one, all that shit that don't matter won't matter. Only thing that will matter is the shit that really matters. And you'll actually be happy. But, you know, well, he, he didn't have dreads or he didn't have gold in his mouth or this or that. He didn't say nigga a thousand billion times. My pussy's not wet. I don't want him. He's too nice. It's just dumb shit. And, and that goes back to people themselves, you know, um, how they've been living their life, how they've been living their life and how they've been been molded as people. So that's probably why they fumble. Like you got to become the right person in order to want the right person and to be able to see who the right person is. Ain't no way I'm going to be able to pick the right woman and want the right woman. I'm out here doing crazy shit, still living like a 15-year-old kid and shit. How? I didn't even become the right man to even know. To even know what the right woman is. I have to become the right man to understand what the fuck the right woman is. The woman has to become the right woman to understand what the right man is. Until she does, 99.9% .9 of the time, she's going to pick the wrong guy. She might, some luck up, they're not the right woman, they pick the right guy for them, whatever. But that's rare, man, because in order for you to be able to know who the right one is, you're going to have to be the right woman. Because the same traits that are in you, you're going to see in these people. It's not going to be he's this tall or that, or that the it's dumb shit that don't matter. Not saying that you should get with somebody who you're not attracted to, but you'll get my point, man. People be looking at the wrong shit, man. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. And the perfect example is NBA players who have the option to choose basically any woman they want. How the fuck you still fumble a, a good woman and you could choose almost any woman you want? It don't make sense to me. It just don't. And how the fuck are you some fine ass girl, let's just say from 21 to 25 with all these guys and you got social media now and you still can't pick the right guy? You still don't know who the right guy is out of all these motherfuckers. That's something that's in you. 
The only way she's going to, the only way these women with all these options going to know what the right option is, is for, is when they deep dig in, when they dig inside themselves and figure out who the right woman is within themselves, then they'll know what, uh, that's the guy I should choose. You're going to know because it's going to be a reflection of who you are. The better woman, the better of a woman you become, the more you're going to recognize who the good men are. You're going to recognize the bad ones. Like, nah, that's not good for me. The better of a man I became, the more I understand. Yeah, she got, she got a nice ass or she's pretty or something, but I see how she's moving, how she thinks. She probably not, nah, she's not the right one. Can't be. Because you see it in yourself. It, you're becoming it yourself, so you're going to be able to see it in other people. You know how they see great, they say great people's, Great people who are great sees great see greatness in other people, yeah, because they had to see it in themselves first. They had to see it in themselves first. How the fuck they become great if they didn't see it in themselves? How how you become great if you don't see it in yourself first? Can somebody answer that? You can't. You got to see it in yourself first. So once I see it in myself, I'm going to be able to see it in women. I'm gonna know who's the good ones and who's not. Because it's in me already. It's so recognizable. But if I haven't seen it in myself, just like if I haven't loved myself, how the fuck am I going to love somebody else and I ain't even fell in love with myself yet? I don't even love myself type shit. How the fuck am I going to see greatness in a female and I can't even see it in my damn self? Nah, you can't, dog. People need to go back to the drawing board, which is themselves. Before they even go out and try to love somebody else or look for it or whatever. Look for love in yourself first. Then you will understand what the fuck love is. I know what love is. Love is not some woman who got mad because I took her to the coffee shop. But if I didn't love myself or really understand what love was, I probably would think, oh, I'm, I need to cash out my nigga so, she, so she's impressed. You, you, you gonna do dumb shit. You're going to do dumb shit. You're going to be like the rest of the simps out here. Because they don't love themselves, man. Plain and simple, man. Plain and simple. I'm out of this bitch, man.